Here's the homemade metal stencil for SMB solder paste application and I just removed it from the etching solution. As you can see this is aluminum from a beverage can and I transferred toner to this using uh, transparency film and then I touched up the less perfect areas with a sharpie pen. I then uh, covered everything else in tape um, and etched this in a 1 to 3 muriatic acid to hydrogen peroxide solution and the results are quite good. The next step would be to remove the tape and then uh, remove the Sharpie paint and the toner. And I'll do that by soaking the stencil in acetone for a minute and the toner should wipe right off. And here's the final result after applying the solder paste. Uh, all the pads are well covered and even if it's not perfect, this is much better than applying solder paste by hand because all the pads have an approximately even amount of solder and it's obviously much faster. Uh, here's the jig that I made for applying the paste. I just taped some scrap PCBs uh, of the same thickness as my uh, target PCB uh, around, around it and I taped uh, and aligned the stencil uh, over my board and I then would put uh, a solder paste on top here and I would spread it uh, across using a cutter blade or uh, a similar tool. Uh, I would then place the components and reflow the boards in a toaster oven using a standard reflow profile for the solder paste that I'm using. Um, solder paste uh, is quite forgiving and you don't need a perfect application for getting perfect results. And I really like this uh, beverage can aluminum for making stencils uh, because it's very strong and flexible and doesn't bend easily uh, or crease easily. Uh, a small challenge is to unbend it from its cylindrical shape after you cut it out of the can and also uh, don't forget to sand off this interior protective layer um, which will prevent etching. Uh, you might also want to sand off this exterior paint. Uh, it helps with seeing the pads coming through when you're etching. Um, I have to say that getting good results will take practice and I've tried etching many stencils before I got it right. Um, for details on how to uh, properly print the cream layer on the stencil and shrink the pads, check out my blog at lowpowerlab.com. So uh, I hope you enjoyed um, this video and you're now ready to try to make your own metal stencils at home.